Now, ever since Jason Tatum has entered the league, he's been playing a huge role for the Celtics. Being able to shoot, finish, offensive, facilitate, and play great defense has made him a part-time leader on the Celtics. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce y'all to my Jason Tatum build in NBA 2K25. Now, what you guys are seeing here right now is just a snippet from my last video with Jason Tatum in it because I deleted all the other gameplay and right now I ain't got no time to, you know, give y'all the gameplay for this build. But if y'all do want to see it, y'all just go to my video where I had um Jason Tatum gameplay in it and y'all will see, you know, me doing this stuff. But all I asked was for 10 likes and y'all got it for me. So now I'll be giving y'all this up. Just show y'all this gameplay real quick and then after that, I'm gonna head into the My Player Builder system right here. Do a step back, snatch back right here. Another little size real quick. Go to shot, shoot that, and that is cash right there. So yeah, man, this build is tough. Now let's head into the builder. As y'all can see, we are in the My Player Builder and now I'll be giving y'all my Jason Tatum build that y'all have been waiting for. So of course, when you're making this My Player Builder, do not use no NBA builds because if y'all look at it, it's not gonna give y'all what y'all want because it's gonna have a whole bunch of disadvantages. But with my builds, I try not to give y'all disadvantages and try to give y'all, you know, every aspect of the game. You see what I'm saying? But anyways, go ahead and create your own. First name, Jason, last name, Tatum. That's already set in for us. Hannes is right, and Jason Tatum does wear number zero. So y'all can do whatever number y'all want to or number zero, but I'm trying to make mine like Jason Tatum. So yeah. And the thing is, what I recognize is the reason why I give y'all gameplay first is so I could see what I made wrong with the build and y'all just get a better build than what I had. You see what I'm saying? But anyways jason tatum now he could play shooting guard or a small fort uh if you want to play shooting guard and you're gonna have be um you're gonna be six eight when you're a shooting guard and you're gonna have an advantage to you know shooting guards they're not really tall all the time so some of them might be small and easier for you to get around but you can be a small fort and just be like jason tatum, jason tatum so all the y'all but i'm just gonna put myself at a small fort i meant shooting guard you know what i'm saying so shooting guard height i meant position shooting guard position height is six eight so go ahead and max that out now wait put it at 218 and the reason why i do this is because if you put them at 217 you're gonna look a little skinny put them at 219 you're gonna look a little too big 218 is right then when you unlock your body type you can look, like, you can look just like jason tatum so yeah when you unlock your body type you're gonna look just like jason tatum so anyways for the wingspan what i'm gonna do put it at 71 so you can unlock some better shooting so don't max it out don't put it up by two just put it up by one so he's gonna be shooting guard position 6'8, 218 pounds, and a 7'1 wingspan. So that's it right there. So now, starting off with this build, man, Jason Tatum layup package, you didn't have to have an um, 85 for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the driving layup, well, I think it's an 84, 85, I don't remember, but go to put the driving layup to an 85. Now, this build is not gonna be overpowered in any type of way in this build because he's gonna have like gold badges max, no Hall of Fame, no legendary, but you can't move your um badge up a level depending on if you had the badge um requirements for like in park or whatever but that's a whole nother story anyways for the finishing we're gonna have an 85 driving layup and put the driving up to an 89 so you could at least lock two foot and one foot moving contact dunks for pro so you could have some type of dunking ability which is good for y'all build you see what i'm saying but yeah 89 driving dunk 85 driving layup and the 75 so that's uh, float game and layup mix master on silver with post riser on bronze for right now and we get paint prodigy on bronze as well now jason tatum does has post game so that's another thing about this build when i have made my luca build and my ant build it didn't have no post to it even though they're in the post but luckily with this build you can't put people in the post and you know um hit your post phase so anyway put the post control to a 70 and you're not gonna really see the badges go crazy until you get to a certain um point with the shooting because I don't care about nothing else like post up poet and none of that stuff. I care about post fade phenomenon. That's it. You see what I'm saying? But anyways, bro. Currently we're 59 out of a 99 overall. Y'all see what we unlock currently. So yeah. Anyways, moving on down to the shooting. With the shooting, we will be averaging here as well. The shooting and the um finishing kind of fall hand in hand because they're both like the same stats. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, memory shot go to max that out to an 89. I think it goes to a 90. Yeah, put it to an 89 because. You gonna have a good jump shot at 89 and because you don't unlock nothing else when you put it to a 90 you see what i'm saying honestly shooting badges don't help just keep it in the stack with y'all boys but yeah three point shot put that to an 80. i wish you can go to an 83 but you gotta have your wingspan down and i don't want to look like a t-rex at 6 8 so yeah so if you do want an 83 uh limitless range for limitless range bronze that's up to y'all just put y'all wingspan down back to seven foot but i'm not doing that i don't care that much and i'm keep my three point shot at 80 because i shoot perfectly fine with it anyways after that we're gonna put the free throw up to an 87 or matter of fact do it at an 82 for right now because it's average so y'all see every stat that like we care about is in the 80s like 
85 driving layup, 89 driving dunk, 89 mirroring shot, and an 83 point shot with the 82 free throw. So currently, this build can cook up a wreck. Anyways, the best that we unlock is Dead Eye and Plus Faith Phenomenal Silver with set shot specialist on gold, and Shifty Shooter will come as well. Probably in like the silver range, but that's another story. So, anyways, man, moving on down to the ball handling, playmaking, and stuff like that. Currently, we're 71 out of 99 overall. And when we get to the physicals, bro, that's when you know, like, the build is going to pop out more with the badges. But, anyways, pass accuracy, put it to a 70. You unlock Payala Banchero's passing. Now, you know, passing does matter this year, but if you're playing as Jason Tatum, you're not going to have, like, a LeBron pass style. You see what I'm saying? So, put it to a 70. You get break starter and dimer on bronze with this. And mind y'all, don't think of it as like having a guard build, even though you're going to be 6'8 and can dribble. You could like use this as a shooting guard or a small forward build because this build will have defense with it. But whole nother story. So we get break starter and dimer on bronze. Um, 86 ball control isn't bad. I can unlock some, you know, okay dribble moves with it. Go to put your steel ball to a 75. Or 70, 75, 70, it doesn't matter, but I'm going with 75 because. That's the last one where it unlocks dribble moves for y'all boys. But anyways, for the ball handle, we get ankle assassin, handles for days, and a pluckable on silver with steel ball. Um, 75, we get lightning launch on silver. So mind y'all, like I said, when y'all get to a certain point, y'all can get this one um badge. What's it called? It's like a badge upgrader where y'all can upgrade one of y'all badges up by one or by two or by three. It doesn't matter. I like that. But anyways... This is what we have for the playmaking right here. So keep it like that. Currently, we are at 87 out of 99 overall. So this year, interior defense does matter. So my, um, mind y'all, my Anthony Edwards build has a 70 interior defense. But I'm going to put this one at a 60 for right now. Because, you know, why not? I actually put it at a 65 for right now. Um, So it's not going to unlock no badge for us yet. But it's not bad at all. Anyways, burn the defense. Go to put it up to an 85. 85 perimeter defense gives us challenger on silver with on ball minutes pick dodger on silver as well and then we got um off ball pest on goal right now now it's not going to show because we don't have the strength and agility up like that yet but we're going to be straight now for passing lane steals put it at a 60 now you might not catch the ball but you're going to tip it at least which you know stop something and if especially for this build which will be good in like wreck and pro m that helps a lot so anyways with the 60 still we're going to put it on um, we're going to have Interceptor on Bronze. Now, I did have mine at a 67, but I seen Glove on Bronze really does not matter for real, so I'm not going to do that. Next up, we got the Block. I'm putting the Block to a 78. 70. It's going to eventually get us High Flying Denier on Bronze. I mean, on Silver and Paint Controller on Bronze. So, I got High Flying Denier on Gold right now because of the badge, you know, thing that I was talking about. But, yeah, bro, so you see... The defensive badges isn't bad right now. So now we're going to skip the rebound real quick. We might go back to it. I don't know. We're shooting guards, so rebound shouldn't matter that much. But if we want to, we're going to have to, you know, yeah. But anyways, for the speed and agility, this build is going to be 6'8". So I don't want it to be slow, though. You see what I'm saying? Fast for 6'8". So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the speed to an 84, which gives a slippery off ball on bronze. I mean, on silver. High flying denier hasn't changed yet, but it should soon. But anyways, agility, you're going to put that to an 81. 81 agility, you know, I don't think that's bad at all for 6'8. But it doesn't lock us some badges. So now we got on ball minutes, pick dodger, shifty shooter, and slippery off ball on silver, which is good for this build. Next up, we got strength. Now you want Jason Tatum to be strong, of course, because Jason Tatum is strong. But, anyways, put the strength to a uh, 73. 73 strength, a lot strong handle on gold, physical finisher on silver, box out beast, brick wall, movable forces, and post powerhouse on bronze, which is good. And last but not least, we're putting this vertical up to a 78, which is going to give us most of these badges you know, go up. You see what I'm saying? But anyways, yeah. You see, we got High Flying Denier on silver now. We got Aerial Wizard on gold, Posterizer on silver. And shoot, we can put... Oh, no, no, we can't. So I guess we can't touch the rebounding. This is what my rebounder was when I made this build. But anyways, uh, shoot. I don't know what else I could upgrade. Something is not right here, honestly, but it is what it is, bro. What I'm going to do, I'm putting this free throw up to an 88. But yeah, bro, so this is exactly how I have the build right here. So you see the badges that we did uh, get changed and stuff like that. Some of the stuff, you know, went better for us. So only badge for the uh, shooting we don't have is just mini marks, man. That's it because we're not short enough. And limitless range, of course. Yeah, bro. But shoot, you see right here, this is my Jason Tatum build, my version of Jason Tatum build now. I have mine as a small fort, but shooting guard should help. Um, you know, the build is strong. It's 
fast for 6 8 great defense it can get chased down blocks it doesn't have bash uh dribbling it can shoot and it can dunk so this is what i call a just tater build so let's see what it is we have shades of rolando blackman zach levine and devin vessel vassal so this build is a let me see let me see shot crazy through level threat so what i want to do real quick i'm gonna go back to the my player builder all right i'm gonna change to a small fort oh well shoot never mind never mind anyways i messed up on it i'm sorry y'all let me get back to it bam that's it for the youtube video subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and you know yeah that's all i got to say so i'll see y'all boys next time around